Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to a brand new squad builder today. We're going to be looking at the Danish bronze team, so let's go in and have a look at the squad. And you see here is the starting 11, pretty strong squad we've got here. And in goal we are starting off with Ainse, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not too sure. There used to be a centre back for Manchester United with the same name, but uh, yeah, not really sure how that one goes. Anyway, pretty decent keeper, he was the highest rated out of the bunch. Uh, just a bog standard keeper, really 6 foot in height uh, and only 200 coins bought for. Now moving on to the right back, we have Dal Scard. Really good pace on him, he's got 86 pace, but not only that, he's 6 foot 4 in height, which is crazy for a right back. Um, nice still there at 150 coins, a really strong right back there. Now going on to the first centre back, we have Dennis Flinter. And uh, yeah, the two centre backs, as soon as I saw them, um, I thought these two have got to be the pair for me. Six foot in height, this guy, but he's got good pace, 73 pace, which is nice for a centre back. And he's got good defending, physical, and pretty decent dribbling, really, for a centre back as well. Moving on to the second centre back, we've got Killer Rick. And uh, yeah, 73 pace as well, pretty much identical, uh, but he's six foot five in height, really nice and tall, great to have in the team for winning them balls from the corners and throw ins and stuff like that. And he's got 72 physical as well, which is handy. Now, moving on to the left back, we've got Fisher, 86 pace. The back line is pretty evenly, ba evenly uh, panned out. Both left back and right back have the same pace, both centre backs have the same pace, which is really handy as well. Only 150 coins bought for, and they've got pretty decent defending and physical as well, and a four star weak foot. Now, moving on to the CDL, we've got Spellman, and uh, yeah, he's pretty. Pretty small, but he's very good technically, and he's got a nice well-rounded card for a bronze card. 65 pace, 61 dribbling, 65 defending, 75 physical, and 63 with the passing as well. Just a very handy player, very good to get on the ball, and uh, yeah, that decent passing for a bronze comes in handy as well. Now moving on to the right midfielder, we've got Amanqua. And uh, yeah, he was pretty much a standout player who I was going to go for, 64 rated, which is obviously the highest. He's got 85 pace, 70 dribbling, which is pretty rare on a bronze card. You just don't seem to get that many good players with dribbling um, on their cards. 5 foot 9 in height, you've got that 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves. Would have liked to have 4 star, but unfortunately he hasn't got that. Then 1 goal and 1 assist as well. And now moving on to left midfield, we have Absalonson. And uh, yeah, he was um, once again the best of the bunch. I picked him because of his high rating and um, there was just a lack of left midfielders. But he was a pretty decent card nonetheless. Uh, one goal and one assist for him. Then moving on to the cam, we have Christensen. Pretty nice card he's got considering he's a non-rare. 70 pace, 60 shooting, 64 passing, 64 dribble and he's got 68 physical as well. Uh, four star weak foot but the only thing is he's only got the two star skill moves. But he got five assists and one goal as well for us. Now moving on to the strikers, we've got Ufe Beck, uh, 63 rated, really nice pace for a bronze striker. He's got 68 dribbling and 64 shooting, which is pretty decent. At the seven games he played, managed to score us three goals and one assist as well. Moving on to the main card for this squad builder, and this is the main reason why I picked it. Danish bronze squad, we've got a team of the season card and it's Vilsum. I think I'm going to go for Vilsum, he's got like a silent H in front of the name. Uh, managed to buy him with a Hunter card on because he was going for minimum price and his price band is something like 18 to 25k. And uh, yeah, pretty decent striker, really impressed me in game. Um, decent shooting, he's got 6 foot 2 in height so he's really good at winning their balls. And he's also, if you sort of look for something that you don't usually look for, it's high work rate, he's got high, high work rate both on the attacking and the defensive, which is brilliant. He scored us 13 goals in um, the two in the seven games we actually played. He didn't score any goals before I had him. So, uh, yeah, really good record for us and two assists as well. So that's been the team. Let's go in and have a look at the goals that we scored. So moving on to the goals now. And as you can see, the first goal was actually scored by the midfielder. And, uh, yeah, just a really nice goal there. Good through ball from Christensen over the top and then sort of a cheeky finish. Um, to finish that one off. This guy here gives away the ball to Wilson who manages to bag his first goal for us and after this he just got better and better here setting one up for Beck um, but yeah just an awesome player really good strength good physical obviously he's a tall striker as well and his shooting is on point really really nice striker to play with considering he's a bronze and um, most people look at him and think he's not really going to be all that but Considering he doesn't look that good pace-wise, you stick the Hunter card on him. He's got 77 pace on card already. Just really, really good. You see his feet there, very decent, getting in the shot and scoring pretty much outside the box. He can score from pretty much anywhere, as long as you are uh, pretty decent shooting on game. Bit of a sweaty goal there across field, but a nice finish anyway from the instep of the foot. But um, yeah, it was um, 
decent team to play with. I did only play seven games with this team, and usually I will play ten games with a team. And this was purely down to the fact that I'm just struggling to get opponents that will stay in the game for long enough at the moment. And I just sort of got to the point where I thought, well, I've got enough footage, and I'm happy with the team, and I've got enough to talk about. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I only play seven games. But um, Beck was pretty decent alongside him up top, but it was Filson who was just pretty, yeah, just pretty amazing. Look at that goal. Um, for a bronze card, you don't really see too many guys that are that good with their shooting who you can consistently score their types of goals with. And uh, yeah, just really impressed me. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of beating myself with how many times I say he's impressed me, but he was just so good in game. Here, he takes the ball onto his left foot. Um, he's good on both feet as well. And I think having that hunter card on top really helped as well. Just sort of topped it off. And I never usually say that because I think there's sort of sometimes not really not really much use to chemistry style cards but it came in very handy with this guy he's the type of ideal candidate you need for that sort of um for using a hunter card it just works perfectly on him but yeah the, apart from that the team was very strong all round defense was very ruthless hardly letting any goals and uh, yeah we was able to capitalize it was a team where you didn't have tons of like flying pace you didn't have um didn't have anyone really over 86 pace i don't think but Everyone worked well as a team. It was good for making sort of chances. So we were good at getting in behind. You had to keep the ball a little bit longer, wait for the right time to pass. But when we did, creating lots of chances and scoring lots of goals as well. So this has been a bit of a shorter squad builder. We're going to go with the last goal now, which is a nice one here on the volley from Beck. Didn't hit it that cleanly, but it managed to go in anyway. If you have enjoyed this squad builder, then please let me know. I've got loads more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.